Plaza North America, PNA, on July 17 announced its selection as a subcontractor for the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle A2, JLTV, program by AM General. The company will supply the armored hulls to AM General for the second phase of JLTV in the USA, as well as the overall protection and survivability solutions for Hanwha's Redback AS-21 IFV for the Australian Army Land 400 Phase 3 program. The JLTV platform is another example of a vehicle that takes advantage of Plazen's kit hull armor technology. Plazen North America has a long-standing relationship with the JLTV program, providing high-quality armor components for the last seven years. With this new contract, the company will further contribute to the program's success and increase its impact in ensuring the safety and performance of the JLTV A2. The Plazen Kit Hull Out of the Box concept. Success takes place when innovation meets pressing needs. This happened at the beginning of this millennium when the U.S. Army was in urgent need of 1,000s of vehicles with a new protection mobility profile required by the circumstances in Afghanistan and Iraq. The answer was Plazen S Kit Hull Concept, a protected vehicle cabin, out of the box, that enabled the OEMs to assemble hundreds of vehicles per week, without skilled, armor-certified welders for the hull and no need for huge floor space. The kit hull concept is just as innovative today in answering the needs of tomorrow, short development cycle and time to market, also for a vehicle variant family manufacturing simplicity, bolted and bonded together at the OEM's assembly line, wherever it is today or needs to be tomorrow of modularity, i.e. exchange just the roof section, if you need to add an RCWS, upgradeability, i.e. Transform Stanag 4569 Level 2 to Level X as the threat changes, multi-material architecture, combining steel, aluminum, ceramic, and composites using what is best where it is best, for the ideal weight protection balance repairability on a part level, impressive ILS advantages, time and material savings equals minimized life cycle cost. The first concept designed to exhibit the engineering, spark, and flexibility of the kit hull was done on a commercial Ford chassis, a first-generation sand cat vehicle. Current successful vehicles like the Thales Australia Hawk A, the JLTV A1 and A2 from Oshkosh and AM General, and new developments like the Mercedes G-Wagon LAPV prototype, are all based on the kit hull concept.